Hey everyone, um, excuse my hair, I'm having a bad hair day, so I just chucked in this like big huge headband thing. It's from Pennies in Ireland if you wanted to know. Um, but today I'm just doing a kind of experimental video. Um, just mixing my lip tars. Um, they're from OCC Cosmetics, um, well they're by OCC. Um, I get all of mine from iSpice.co.nz, I'll put the link below. And you can also get them from allcosmeticswholesale.com um, and the actual OCC lip tar website. But if you live in New Zealand, I think it's the cheapest to go with iSpice.co.nz. So yeah, all those links will be below in case you want to buy any of these colours. And I'm just going to mix them together. Um, if you don't know what OCC lip tars are, then you can check out my review. I'll make it a video response to this video or something like that. So I'm going to get started. I have my box of tissues right here so I can rub the hell out of my lips. Um, I'll be using my e.l.f. angled brush. It's already got some lip tar on it. It's not clean. Sorry. Um, but this is my favourite brush for my lips. And then I've got, I'm going to use RX lip tar. This one's Grandma. Hush. Anime. Cha Cha. Conquest and Complex and I'm not going to use this one here this one I can't remember what the name of it is but it isn't flattering on my skin tone but if you have like medium to darker skin tones this will look good or if you have a white that you can mix it with but I don't have a white and it just doesn't work for me so I'm not going to use that one today but I'm just going to mix together random colours on my lips this is a really long intro but I just need to tell you what I'm doing um Sometimes I would mix them on a palette, but just so that you guys can see how they apply and mix together, I'll just put them on my lips. And I'm not going to use a um, lip liner. And I'm going to zoom in now. Doo -doo -doo. Excuse the giant pimple on my chin. I have my girl thing. Um, Jesus. Alright. I think that's good enough. So, I'm going to start off with a light colour. We're going to put on Complex. This is what the colour looks like, and I'll put all the colours below. So, complex. Okay, so that's complex on the lips, and I guess this is kind of like a swatch video too, isn't it? Um, but this is just like the lightest pink nudie colour ever, like, it's, I think it's way too light to wear by itself. Um, so, we'll mix it. I think I might add a bit of RX just to make a kind of purpley tone, and I'm going to use the tiniest amount because this is like intense. Like, if you can see that on my brush. It might even be too much. You could do, like, lip art with these. I should, should still do that one day. Oh, Jesus, this is going to be way too much. Alright. Okay. So there's a little bit of RX mixed into it. It's kind of like a dead people's lip colour. If you know what I mean. Kind of like purple um, and blue. And looks like I've just gotten hypothermia. Is that the right word? Okay. And then I might add some... Uh, hush. This is my favourite one, I think. Well, I've got two favourites. This one and Conquest. Oh, and Charter. No, I love lots of them. But this is one of my favourites. And this is Hush and the sticker has fallen off. But, yeah. It's amazing. Okay, so this is the finished colour. 
Um, I might just shut my curtain a tad. Um, okay, now the colours are just coming out really yellow. Where's my teeth look yellow? Um, but this is kind of like, it's closer to the hush colour, but it's got like a purple undertone. And it looks actually really nice. And it's slightly lighter as well. So, that's from Hush, RX and Complex. Okay, now I'm taking Cha Cha. It looks like this. It's like it's not showing up the right colour at all. It's like a neon orange pastel colour. I'm sure it'll show up better on my lips. Kind of. Okay, so there is the colour. It's like a very, it's not showing up very well on camera. It's kind of brighter and darker than you see right now. It's close enough though. There you go. Okay. Um, and I'm going to mix this with Conquest. And I'm pretty sure this will just go really nude, which I love. Because this colour is kind of nude by itself, but... It's kind of too nude. So. Yeah. It's really messy, but yep, this is very nude. Um, real life, better than on camera. Let's add a hot pink. Okay. Here is anime. Taking a little bead, that might be too much. Just like that much through. You can't see. By the way, you can do that ombre kind of look like where it fades from color to color with these. But you can see it happening here. But obviously you do it properly because I'm not trying to. Okay, I really like this. I haven't blended it in properly and it's kind of doing this like tie-dye effect on my lips. And it's like a Barbie pink, like super Barbie pink. It's not completely like hot pink like this. It's kind of gone like kind of like a peachy pink but still really vivid and has really I don't know it just looks awesome. I really like that one. I'm just gonna add something else on top of it. Grandma. Okay, this is making an amazing colour as well. This kind of reminds me of, um, what's the colour? By MAC? Let me see. Impassioned? No, not quite. I don't know. There's a MAC colour that looks just like this. I just concentrate in the middle of my lips, they look so cool. I love wearing lip tars when I go out to town because one, they last forever, two, when they eventually come off they still leave like colour on your lips like a lip stain and three, they just look so amazing and so bright and so awesome. So that's that colour. What else can I do? See as you can see my lips are getting stained. Um, anime, I'll show you anime by itself and then I'll put grandma right on top of that with all the other colours underneath because I've used this before. And it looks so nice. Like, can you see how vivid that colour is? It's intense. Ok, 
Okay, so there we go. You can see my wonky lips. You definitely need like a lip liner with this. Then we're going to put Grandma on top of it. The writing is rubbing off. This sucks. Like the little labels are just stickers, so. They don't last forever. Okay, Grandma. And this is going to look so pretty. Can you see that? They just look amazing. Okay, so pretty much if I ever go to an 80s party, I'm going to wear this lip colour. Like, let's zoom out. Oh, here you go. That colour is more realistic. Alright, so that's the colour there. That was Grandma and Anime mixed together. And it's so intense and amazing. Like, if you're a fan of bright colour, you need these. <laughs> They're so pretty. Yeah, it washes me out when I get too close to the mirror. Um, window, I mean. I don't know why I said mirror. It's so bright. This is gonna stain my lips. Like it stained my hand. I got some on my hand. Yep. Hey, lip stained. Alright. Well, let's just put a light colour on top of that. It's got some RX mixed in with it. Whoops. Yeah, if you're going to use one of the bright colours and wear them out, you definitely want to wear a lip liner because it's bleeding, like, you can't really see, but it's bleeding everywhere. Um, that didn't change the colour too much, but it did, I don't know. Yeah, my lips are kind of too stained now. Right. My camera keeps deciding to turn itself off. <sighs> okay, hush. On top of my stained lips to see what I can do. Because I think after this I'm going to have to stop the video because my lips are getting really sore. Oh Jesus, I took too much. Oh my god, and you don't want to do that. See, I screw up too. Okay, so you can see where it's bleed off my lips. I look like a freak. Oh my god. It looks like I've got like that real bad lip liner and lipstick look. Okay, this is truly experimental, isn't it? Usually I would just like mix them on like, I don't know, the back of, oh, I have some here, on the back of like a little container. And then I can see the colour before I put it on. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys what you can do with it. Um, I'll zoom out. It still doesn't look that bad. But, yeah, not a good look with the whole, like, all in there. But, that's that. I'm covered in lip tie now. And, yeah. So, <laughs> I think it's time for me to quit. Um, but basically, I love lip ties. Um, I still want to get more, so if you've tried some that I haven't got, like, that I didn't mention and you think that that would suit me, you should write it below because I'm seriously going to get a few more. I want to get the full size of Conquest definitely because it's like a really really nice colour for mixing. I didn't really mix much with it but it just makes every colour like of these bright colours more wearable which is really nice. So yeah, I hope this was helpful in some weird way and if not I hope you had fun watching me put lots of crap on my lips. 
I don't know. Okay. I'm gonna go now. I need to study. See ya.